Right, folks? Hello. Today, we have for plurals. And your test on Thursday will be about these plurals. You've got a spelling test. Plurals is part of grammar, but it is also important to spell it correctly. So, this is part of spelling also. This will be your spelling test. I am... I have been thinking of how to help you. So I thought I'm going to write 15 of the plurals. Plurals 7, 8 and 9 here. And I'm going to ask 10 of these 15 in your test. Okay, but I'll send you a picture of this. So let's discuss this. You have your plural page all of you have it in your blue file so if you see there this is now seven seven eight and nine so i'm going to bring it a bit closer i think i'll rather make it so much larger here right most words it's now plural seven most words, not all, they are always exceptions of the rules. It's always, English is quite a difficult language because the rules are there, but it does not always apply to all the things that we say. But in this case, or for most of the words, this will be the case. So if a word Ending in O must be a plural. You add ES to the plural to make it the plural. So if you have echo, 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 did you have you done that before in mountains or even between buildings or between? big walls if you scream the sound bounces against the wall or the mountain or the building and it comes back to you echo 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 echo, echo. all softer 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 till it disappears so that is what an echo is echo ends with an o and if you have a lot of echoes if you and your friends scream things to each other in between buildings where it is exactly the right circumstances to make echoes you and your friends will make a lot of echoes and it will sound very very mixed up all the words that jump back jump back all to you all the time then you have hero Lots of you have heroes now. I think, I'm not sure what games and movies you watch. I think when you were smaller, maybe Spider-Man or Superman or somebody like that was your hero. But now maybe you have different heroes. Maybe, maybe musicians or very... Um, uh, big celebrity bakers or movie makers or um, artists or anything yeah especially musicians ne? can be your hero so a hero ends with an o so if you make it a plural heroes you add the es like that Tomato is a thing that you do know, right? Tomato is that red fruit that we eat. In, and if you love tomatoes, you will eat more than one tomato. Tomato, tomato, tomato. Tomatoes. Tomato ends in O and the plural has the ES. Volcano, 
There's a nice picture of a volcano. I think most of you know what a volcano is. So, volcano ends with an O. More than one volcano at the ES. Volcano, volcanoes. Potato. Potatoes. Potato, you eat a lot, even... When you don't know you eat potatoes, you eat chips, and most of the chips you eat are made of potatoes. Even the warm chips, the long warm chips, they are made of potatoes. Now, here are the, the exceptions I've been talking about. Exceptions, if some th something ends with an O, you add an ES. But the exceptions, exceptions is mostly musical terms or musical instruments. Like a cello. A cello is like a violin. <clears throat> also looks like a guitar. But it's got a different kind of opening there. And they play it with a stick with horse hair. Can you believe that? Horse hair. And they they pull this horse hair over the strings. To make it move, we've got movement energy in our natural science. Okay. <clears throat> movement to make sound energy right but the cello is a bit bigger it stands between the legs of the person that plays it a violin they put the hair on their shoulders and they um, play it with the strings and you know what those these are strings but these are also strings you know what that is hair of a horse tail. Yes. Oh, they use hair of a horse tail to play the cello or the contrabass bass or the violin. Then there's a banjo. It's also almost like a guitar, but I don't know, you wouldn't know what a banjo looks like. So I have a little picture of this. Um I went to the internet to find this this boy. Um, I'll try to find the video where this guy is playing the banjo. He's playing along with his brother playing on a guitar. And it is incredible how they play. This small little guy playing a banjo like this. There's a another picture of the banjo i'm going to make it like that a bit um you can see banjos mostly have four strings some have five strings a guitar has got six strings but now back to plurals when it is musical things you don't add the es cello Remember, it's a kind of violin which is big, which stand between, which stands between the legs of someone. He sits on a chair and it stands upright on a pin like that. Okay, banjo, piano. You've done, you know what, and you all, you all of you that were there on on Thursday had a chance to play a note on the piano and see how the hammer of the piano hits the string and this movement you've made made the hammer tap the string and the string started vibrating and um, so that's also movement energy that made sound energy like in natural science. So piano, pianos. Because it's a musical instrument, 
We don't add an es. Solo. A solo means single. Or it means one. So, sometimes they say you play a solo when you play drums. Or you play a solo when you play the guitar. Or um, you sing a solo. Many of you sing. And when you sing alone, someone accompanies you with a guitar or with a piano or anything else or with a banjo. You sing a solo. It's only you singing. And then when you, you go and pass, you go to sing one evening, you're a very good um, singer. Then you will be singing a lot of solos on a concert or at a concert. So, solos, this must be actually solo. No? Solo, not solos, solos, solo. I think I wrote it here, I hope it's not here. I'm just going to write it here. It should be solo. Solo, not solos. Oopsie. Solo. Solo and solos. So you can scratch out the S there. One solo or many solos that you're going to sing. Hobo is a kind of flute. A kind of flute. And while I think of it, a oboe or a kind of flute is actually written like this. Oboe. So this hobo is someone that is um, so this is not a flute this is um, someone that's pigging and living alone and living in the street people that we can help so it's not a musical instrument but it is this kind of word an exception I don't think I wrote it on your list good so it's not a musical instrument I'm sorry that I said that if it is the musical instrument you would have spelled it like this so don't think about the musical instrument then the radio <laughs> it's not a musical instrument but also, it is a musical instrument because you can listen to music over the, ra over the radio. So, radio also falls in this category where it says it's musical terms or musical instruments. So, in a way, you can say it's a musical instrument. Then, there is also Eskimos, which is not a musical a musical instrument. Eskimo is a person. There is a little picture of Eskimos living in very cold areas where there are ice. There is ice all around, ice and snow. And they build igloos to live in. Actually, it's very warm in there, they say. So, Eskimo is a person. Then, these words, they are totally different. When you have the singular one, noun, that's only one, mouse becomes mice. You know what a mouse looks like? Mice. Oh, I... Mice are very beautiful little creatures, but they can make havoc in your house, ne? Have you ever had mice in your house or one mouse? It eats all your stuff, your flour, your mom's flour, the cereals you eat and so on. Louse or lice, normally we talk about a tick. 
but they also talk about louse a tick and a louse is the same thing when it has grown on your dog it's very fat and it's also an insect Oof. I get goosebumps if I think about it goose geese you know what a goose is we've had it with the animals the baby animals of a goose gosling so many goose when many goose are actually geese tooth teeth you should know that when you are an english speaking person tooth is tooth when you have more than one tooth larva larvae you can say it like that larvae to help you remember if you look at the life cycle of a butterfly it starts with a little egg then a worm comes out it eats all the leaves then it starts spinning and making um, cocoon and that's a larva or that both in both cases because while it is it spinned into a cocoon it is the larva it's not the adult the adult of a life cycle of an insect is the butterfly or the fly um, you've seen dragonflies, you've seen flies, have you ever seen flies? The um, babies of flies is like kind of worms or caterpillars. Yeah. It can be gross but it can also be very lovely. Ox, we had oxen, oxen, oxen. You had pictures in your history about oxen, ox wagon right it's a big big kind of cow or bull woman there is a lovely woman oh no there are 10 lovely women you pronounce it a bit different women okay woman women and child we don't say you child, you must go and play outside. We say you children, you must go and play outside. Right. And then these stay the same. Actually, you, you should say you must wear a pair of trousers. What, but we say put on your trousers. It's actually just one trousers. One of it you're going to put on. So it's going to be a pair of trousers. You don't say put on your trou your one trouser. You say put on your trousers, put on your pants, take out your scissors, a pair of scissors. It should be a pair of scissors. Spectacles like this, a pair of spectacles. Mumps, this guy has mumps. In Afrikaans we call it pampunkis. When you have these swollen glands there in your throat, call it mumps. Shorts, also like that, pair of shorts. Tongs are those things that, uh, that you grab something with. I'm going to show you one quickly. We use tongs like this to do a bry dry place yeah? or a barbecue they call it overseas so this is, these are tongs and the same with jeans 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 stays jeans put on your jeans you don't say yeah well, some people do say put on your jean but then that doesn't sound right it's like a jean in your body <laughs> but jeans will be jeans a pair of jeans actually okay so now i have 
written a few that I want you to remember. Tomato, piano, mouse. Child, goose. Trousers, tooth, radio, potato, jeans, ox, Eskimo, mouse, volcano, banjo. I see I have mouse there. I'll quickly stop and rub the last one out and see if I can find another one put to put in there. I decided to write solo over there. So I'll send you a photo so that you can write this down. But you must go and learn this first before you write it over there. And if you have written it and you made a mistake, please write it over again. And then the next day you go back to those that you had wrong and you try it again. That's the only way you can learn is to practice all the time. Okay, so enjoy the words. This will be your plural test, or your spelling test on Thursday. Bye-bye. See you. Love you all.